Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for choosing this channel and I believe that this video is going to find you well wherever you are. A.G. Justin Muturi, the current Attorney General in the Republic of Kenya, is now coming out and opening a war with the Commander of Defense Forces, that is Dr. William Samuel Ruto, on the housing levy. And Muturi seems to know the secret behind this, according to my observation. This is whatever Muturi is saying, as I am just displaying it. Muturi to the KRA, you can't continue collecting housing levy. And he continued by also writing a kind of a threat to the court with the demand of this housing levy to be pull out and it is a kind of he doesn't want it anymore and as you know Mturi are the, they are the people in the government they work in the government they are being paid in the government they are the ones also advising the president what might be the clash on this move this is whatever Mturi is saying AG question KRA on housing levy it is noted that the housing levy was introduced by section 84 of the finance act 2023 however upon determination of the high court in constitutional and human rights petition 181 211 217 219 221 227 228 232 234, 237, and 254 of 2023, consolidated by Majanja, Meoli, and Mugambi, JJ, on 28th, 2023. Then, lastly, the imposition of the housing levy. That is whatever Mturi have come out with. And there seems to be panic in State House as Heji Mturi leak out the secret behind housing bill. As this is happening, teachers are also demanding back their money from the government to be returned for, refunded for, after they have been convinced that housing levy uh, is being deducted from their salaries. I want us to listen to these two videos. Then after this, we are going to, after that, we are going still carrying on with our analysis, I mean. And I think this is something you take home. We run our payroll on 20th. So, I think the, 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 there was a judgment on 26th. 26th. We had already run the, the payroll. Despite the court ruling that the housing levy is illegal, teachers have claimed that the housing levy has once again been deducted from their month of February salary. According to COPET, several pay slips for the month of February confirm the deductions. We are saying that uh, the CEO Teacher Service Commission and the commissioners are in contempt of court. So the union has given them 14 days to return the teacher's money back. Kupet says when general deductions were done, the union wrote to the commission demanding that the teachers be refunded. We did write to the commission in January and told them all that money they have collected for the previous months must be returned in the pay slip in the month of February. The commission responded and say that uh, because uh, in January they had already prepared the payrolls, they are willing to refund the teacher's money in the month of February. Mm. So these are blunted lies. I mean, how do you continue now deducting again? After passing in the National Assembly, the affordable housing bill is currently in the Senate. And according to the Kenya Kwanzaa government and parliamentary group, the bill is supposed to be ascended to by the president by mid-March, so that by April 1st, deductions for housing levy will officially start.
and before parliament regularizes the procedure, Kupete insists teachers must be refunded. You know, the commission is supposed to be independent in terms of the constitution. They do their own things away from the executive. But now the commission is playing into the hands of the executive. Uh, now, at the same time, Attorney General Justice M Justin Muturi has warned the Kenya Revenue Authority against deducting the controversial housing levy, citing the lack of a legal framework to support the deduction. In a letter addressed to KRA Commissioner General Humphrey Watanga, the AG pointed to, to the tax man to the ruling delivered by the Court of Appeal on the 25th of January this year that upheld a high court decision which declared the housing levy as unconstitutional. A three-judge bench had last year ruled in favor of the petitions filed by the High Court challenging sections of the Finance Act 2023 on grounds that the levy was discriminatory and a direct violation of Article 10 of the Constitution of Kenya. The Finance Bill 2023 was assented by President William Ruto on June 26, 2020. Indeed, there is a clash between the Attorney General and the President. What might be the secret behind this move, shocking move? That is whatever we want to analyze and find out. Before I do that, I want to appreciate you members for the support you always offer to this channel because if it was not a support, then this channel could have not reached to where it is as of now. Thank you very much. Thank you to the new subscribers. Continue watching our videos. Like, share and give us your opinion. And if this might be your first time again, watching me at Zang Kenya TV YouTube channel, I request you that just take a one second and click the subscription button and subscribe to our channel. After you subscribe, watch the videos, like, share and give us your opinion. Justin Muturi knows the secret behind the housing bill. And let's begin with this analysis. Number one, I'm seeing Muturi is going to be dethroned as the current Attorney General. That is my first observation. Number two, there is going to be a total clash between Ituri and Kimani Chungwa. As you know, Kimani Chungwa is the man deep hand, uh, is, is a secret man, man in the state house who is working hand in hand with William Samuel Ruto. And in, a, in just that picture I've just, I'm just displaying, you just bear with me, it is a clarification that Kimani Chungwa is being, is being asked what way forward on this housing bill and remember this housing bill had been hectic even to the supreme court and in fact the supreme court itself nullified it and stopped it then after that the current head of state carried on with the demand with his authority and said it is going to be implemented whether Kenyans like it or not. Cool. It means that this housing levy or bill is harmful to Kenyans. Then the answer is yes, according to whatever we are now seeing. As teachers, you've listened to them. They're raising complaint, demanding their money to be refunded back to them. Justin Muturi have filed a petition which have been just displayed on the Citizen TV. And that petition is very clear and it has been indicated, written with a demand for the KRA to stop collecting housing levy from Kenyans. Which way forward are we heading to? That is whatever we want to discuss on. And whatever is now happening at this point is that William Samuel Ruto is no longer trusting Justin Muturi. And uh, again, these things are happening because right now we lack opposition. You should know that. Kenya lack opposition. There's nowhere, there's no, nobody to come out and be like uh, another AG Muturi to defend this. With me, I don't propose this housing bill, sincerely speaking. Because Uru's regime always doing it differently. But why now imposing tax? And even I asked several people in this our channel that why do you think Ruto is happy on this housing levy to be taxed? Millions of Kenyans are being taxed 
and who told the current state that the guy the future is only made for only housing bill who told them i mean whatever muturi is saying is that he have felt the pinch as much as is going against the president against his boss that is a good move as a leader you must sometimes stand firm for your people and speak the truth the truth of the matter ladies and gentlemen is that this housing levy is not contradicting to Kenyans welfare is not contradicting to whatever Kenyans wants at this point and that is why we are seeing clashed among leaders coming out and going against the president bill and what is worrying me is that head of state is on toes and ensuring that this housing bill is recommended mpende mspende na saa hii opposition mwenye alikuwa angeweza kutetea wananchi ashashi kuwa mateke sasa wacha tuone mturi ata <laughs> mturi atajisaidia haji ata atajitolea haji what next for justin mturi on this bill as i have said mturi is going to be demoted that is the first thing you should know that but as much as he's being demoted he is standing as a truthful man in our country let the president uh, find a resolution on how to bring this into good terms because if he carry on this way it's going to clash with each and every his cabinet it's going to be in bad term with each and every person as much as he's trying to bring unity in the country like yesterday a few days ago we had him speaking in omabi which is very good he had been now he's speaking very nice for kenyans what of this housing bill and why do you think mturi is now coming out again and storming state house as i have just clarified the secret behind mturi attacking president ruto we are going to see the reaction by the so called deep state system how they are going to re react how they are going to take this move of justin mturi ladies and gentlemen what do you prefer on this housing levy nightmare in both Kenya Kwanza and the current opposition who are there and cannot handle it they have left it for AG Mturi this marks the end of our analysis and that is whatever i had to share with you at this point bye bye as you hope to meet on another political discussion thank you very much and continue with the same spirit of supporting our youtube subscribe and share to your family friends and relatives we always try to give you what's happened there across the country and also across the world not only politics and also other words of encouragement in life stay tuned for more updates thank you for listening to me my name is charles as i end my analysis